Auckland Transport has developed a plan for bus services in the city centre. At present, around 30,000 people enter the city centre by bus every morning. This continues to grow and demand for public transport into the city centre is set to more than double by 2038. Even with improved train services as a result of City Rail Link and proposals for light rail, Auckland Transport knows that buses will still be the most accessible public transport option for travel to, from and through the city centre for most people. Auckland Transport has developed a plan for buses in the city centre, which will make them easier to use, more connected, accessible and future-proofed for growth. This plan will help deliver the outcomes of the City Centre Master Plan, which presents a 20-year vision for the City Centre to ensure it remains a vibrant place where people are the priority. The City Centre Bus Plan would be delivered over the next decade and has a three-step approach. Step 1. We would create two high-quality, dedicated east-west bus corridors on Custom Street and Wellesley Street, with higher quality and safer stops. This will enable 50% more people to travel on buses through the city centre as compared with today. Step 2. We would create dedicated bus facilities in the city centre, like the Monaco Bus Interchange, where passengers catch buses in safety and comfort with short walks between stops. These facilities would provide step-free access, safe waiting areas, excellent journey planning and refreshment kiosks. There would also be secure facilities for bicycles, scooters and other transport modes to ensure a seamless end-to-end -end journey can be made. Step 3. We would change existing bus routes so that they run through the city centre rather than terminate in busy shopping, business and residential areas. For example, Today, 150 buses an hour end their trips at multiple locations in the downtown area, creating a confusing and difficult situation for some passengers. We would extend some of these routes through the city centre to end at dedicated bus facilities on the city fringe. This will reduce the number of buses ending their trips in the downtown area and also improve access for passengers. These steps would improve air quality and free up at least one kilometre of curbside space in the city centre for people to use and enjoy and also for goods and servicing. Buses give us flexibility to move around the city easily and efficiently. They also take up a lot less space. One bus can carry the same number of people as 33 cars. Buses also help reduce carbon emissions and by 2030 AT plans to have 100% of buses operating in the city centre to be emission free. This plan will address difficulties some passengers are currently experiencing when using buses in the city centre, such as transferring between services and finding their way around. They sometimes feel unsafe waiting for buses and can't always rely on buses to get them where they need to be on time because buses are often sharing busy lanes with general traffic. An improved city centre bus network will allow passengers to travel to other parts of the region, opening up more options for more people. The city centre bus plan will improve customer experience, enable us to run buses more efficiently alongside other modes in the city centre and support the vision for Tamaki Makoto as a place for everyone to enjoy. For more information, visit at.govt.nz forward slash city centre bus plan. A better, more connected city. Let's go there.